MCTV is on the air. On the air. Good morning, Huskies. It's going to be a chilly day with a chance of showers and a high of 49 degrees. It's October 18th and day five of the six-day cycle. Please join us and rise for our national anthem and the Pledge of the Flag. Positive Vibes T-Shirt Tie-Dye Day is back. Every student and staff are encouraged to tie-dye a free Be Kind T-Shirt today until 6.30 p.m. This is a super fun event and is set up right here at the high school in the hallway outside the entrance to the gym. You may enter, visit the station during study hall, lunch, or with teacher permission only. Also, we encourage you to wear your T-Shirts to the Neon Night Football Game on Friday, October 21st, where we'll be raising money to reverse the stigma because mental health matters. Students, are you looking for something fun to do on October 25th from 3.30 to 4.30? STEM Club in the Makerspace will be hosting a LEGO Robotics event. You heard that right. You will build creations and make them come to life using LEGOs, an iPad, and your creativity. Again, that is October 25th at 4.30 to 3.30 in the Makerspace. The annual canned food drive continues. Please bring in your canned foods and non-perishables through November 10th and put them in the donations box in the kiosk area. Everything put in the boxes will be donated to Mother Hubbard's cover. The two first periods with the most items donated will get a free breakfast. Attention Prom Committee. Our October meeting will be tomorrow morning at 7.30 a.m. in Mrs. Heckenauer's room, A316. Please plan to attend. Additionally, if you're a junior and would like to join the Prom Committee, we are still accepting new members, so feel free to attend. Stop by the guidance office to sign up for one of the upcoming college visits. Dickinson College will be coming October 19th. Lock Haven will be coming October 27th, Lebanon Valley will be coming October 25th, Penn State will be coming November 1st, and Geisinger School of Nursing will be coming November 2nd. Sign up in the guidance office or using the flyers posted in the English classes. Minithon is once again hosting a costume contest to raise money to fight pediatric cancer. First, you will need to buy, go to get a teacher and you would like to dress them up and get their permission to enter them into the contest. Next, you will grab a registration form at a lunch from a Minithon represent representative and fill it out. Teams will need to pay a $20 entrance fee. The last day for registration is Monday, October 24th. Then your team is responsible for creating an outfit for the teacher. Teachers, you will need to have their outfits by Thursday, October 27th. Teachers will then wear their outfits to school on Friday, October 28th. Students will be able to vote for their favorite teacher outfit all the way through Monday, October 31st. The winner of the costume contest will get a gift card. Registration forms can also be picked up in Ms. Eckert's room, A309. Choir lessons for today are period four, Gino Zanino, Alex Garner. Happy Halloween, spoo spooky student body. MCHS Spirit Club is hosting the first annual trunk or treat tomorrow. Sign up with a group of your friends to decorate your car or parking space to hand out candy or prizes to trick-or-treaters. Use the QR code or the tiny URL in the posters around the school to register your team. Attention students and staff. The school store is now open, but once the three-day weekend arrives, the fundraiser sale ends and the student purchasing rules of only buying gum and lollipops until the end of sea lunch will return. After sea lunch, students will be able to purchase anything with the exception of gum and lollipops, Hartley's chips, regular soda, and extra sweet tea. So stock up now until the Thursday the 20th. The next fundraiser will not be until December, just prior to Christmas break. The senior dinner dance will be held on Saturday, November 12th from 6 to 10 p.m. in the MCHS Commons. Sign-ups are now underway and run through October 28th. Students that sign up from someone from outside of MCHS will need a guest form. Cost of the dance is $25 per person. Please see Mr. Hopple or Ms. Gilbert with any questions. The fitness room will be closed after school tomorrow. Again, the fitness room will not be open after school tomorrow. Attention seniors, are you attending a post-secondary school or program next year? Have you thought about how you're going to pay for your continued education? Come to MCHS on Tuesday, October 26th at 6 p.m. to fill out the FAFSA online form to help local financial aid representatives. You must sign up ahead of time to ensure enough computers are available. Registration can be done in the guidance office. Here's Caden with a look at Husky Sports. Yesterday in MC Sports, the girls soccer team defeated Hershey 3-1 and it was Aubrey Schrohecker with the hat trick. The boys team fell to Hershey on the road 8-0. 
Gabby Lynch had 15 digs, but Mifflin County Volleyball fell to Redland in a hard-fought five sets. Today in MC Sports, field hockey trials to Susquehanna with a 2.30 early dismissal time. Hydration testing for wrestlers will be November 2nd, 3rd, 8th, 9th, and 15th. All testing will be done in the high school athletic training room. All wrestlers must sign up for a time slot. The sign-up link can be found on the athletic training website. Please see Zach in the athletic training room if you have any questions. MCHS Senior Student Athletes, the Heisman High School scholarship application is open until October 18th. Male and female senior scholar athletes with high character are eligible to win $1,000, $10,000 in scholarship money. Stop by the guidance office for additional information. That's a look at Husky Sports. Ella, what's for lunch? In the Husky line, California chicken sandwich, crinkle cut fries, side salad, and milk. And in the griller, cheeseburger or grilled chicken sandwich. Due to technical difficulties, we will be now doing the national anthem and pledge to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Ella has one final announcement. Congratulations to the following students who have qualified to represent MCHS at the PMEA District 4 Band Festival in February. Megan Hartzler, Flute 2, Elena Sharp, Flute 2, Ava Liebegott, Flute 2, Zeta Fry, Clarinet 3, Bree Forshee, Clarinet 3, Olivia Nyman, Bass Clarinet, <laughs> Alex Garner, Alto Sax 2, Summer Shuey, Barry Sax, Katie Ryden, Trumpet 1, Jay Schaefer, Horn 4. That's all for the morning show. For all of us here at MCTV, I'm Gabe. And I'm Ella. Have a terrific Tuesday. Have a husky day.